is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. Before we get this video rolling, just a quick brief little explanation on this video. We're a little out of order. This video is kind of the process of building the truck you see sitting behind me. If you missed the last video, go watch the last video. I know you guys missed it, so go back, check it out. Every single little detail on our latest build, the 2018 short bed, six speed G56 Laramie truck, it is done, it is complete. That video kind of goes over every single little detail on the truck and it shows you and tells you that you have a chance to win this truck plus a matching diamond seat trailer yes of course it's our latest giveaway truck guys honestly one of the nicest trucks that we have ever built it is so sick but with the video that you're about to see and the video that we kind of missed and it's a little out of order is building the truck all the suspension work all of the little details the nitty-gritty and the building of the truck which is probably my favorite part getting to build these trucks so this video shows you guys a little bit more of the behind the scenes of the build of the install of this sweet suspension that we put on this truck a little bit different than our previous suspensions super sick i know you guys are going to love it but go watch this video enjoy it if you missed the last video go check that out but just a brief shameless plug guys 20 times entries are live for launch week to win this truck along with the matching diamond seat trailer that goes along with it plus 10 grand but check this out guys it is so this truck is sick one of my favorites you already know the deal go to rentrix.com anything that you buy off the website automatically gets you entered speaking of that this beautiful first gen is going to its new home tomorrow so we're going to spend a little bit of time today getting this sucker cleaned up ready for carter he is coming and he is picking up his new truck and this could be you you could be coming to the shop to pick up your new truck except it's going to be this bad boy with a trailer but you have to get entered if you want to win so you guys already know the deal wrenchworks.com to get entered let's get on with the video Welcome back to another video inside of the shop. It feels like forever since we've been home, but our trek across the country is done. We are back in the shop. We're getting ready to do a little suspension on our 2018 short bed G56 truck. I'm excited. We've got a new suspension we've never done before, and that would be a striker four inch kit. Now you guys can see we've got the stuff powder coated. The last time you guys saw this truck, we were driving all night. I mean, it seems to be a thing, right? We do a lot of driving all night through the night. We picked this truck up from Knockout Customs. Our buddy Cam fully paint matched everything. It has been a while. So to catch you guys up, fully paint matched, this is gonna be the look that we're gonna go with the truck. I was kind of up in the air with the wheels. After getting a lot of stuff put on the truck, I really absolutely love the wheels on this truck. Really, we went with a polished and black tone throughout the entire truck. So again, kind of playing off of some of the other polished chrome uh, accents on the truck, like the door handles, the mirrors, the lights, the wheels. These wheels are extremely nice because they are a black window, black back, and a polished kind of face look. They look killer. Some other things have made their way onto the truck. I'm not exactly sure uh, how that happened, but we have got a whole bunch of fleece performance parts. We've got a fleece power flow lift pump that you guys didn't see us put on. We've got their big line kit. We've got their auxiliary heated fuel filter element on this truck, which is really, really nice. Some other things and stuff, and we are ready to lift this thing up a little bit. So the way it's been sitting currently, uh, we've actually stripped it already down. A lot of the suspension is off of it, and we've got all of our suspension powder coated. We really went with this, we really went with a PXR theme throughout this whole entire truck. I'm gonna, oh, there it is. 
There it is, Dawson's camera may pick it up a little bit better, but pretty much PXR everything on this truck, underneath the hood, underneath the uh, suspension, everything, all PXR, I'm really excited. So what's really, really cool about this striker kit, you can see we've got our radius arm drops right here. We've got some faceplate action. Man, this powder coat looks so good. So the guys at Stryker, huge shout out to them. We're gonna be using some of their new stuff for these trucks. Looks really, really killer on this. I'm, I'm really excited. So this radius arm drop kind of ties into the face plates on these radius arms. As you can see, we've got those powder coated. We've got their face plates. We've got the black and machined look going, which should tie into the rest of the truck very, very well. As always, we've got our Fox. Reservoir shocks, which are gonna basically play right into that as well. So this kit pretty much comes with everything that you need. Some of the stuff we've got powder coated, like the sway bars, got our drop brackets, but we've got all of our hardware. These uh, sway bar links should look really, really good. So I'm excited to kind of put the whole entire picture together on this truck. We're getting very, very close and I'm very excited to see it completely done driving. It should look killer. But there we have it. There's your intro, that's what we're getting into today. We're gonna see how this kit installs, how it rides, all that stuff. I'm not sure exactly how far we are going to get. The truck needs a bath, which we're gonna take care of, but very excited. Huge thank you to the guys over at Stryker. If you guys need suspension stuff for your truck, not only Dodge, uh, but of course all the other makes, Chevy, Ram, GM, Ford, they got you covered. Um, again, this is a four inch kit. It is just a hair bigger than what we normally do, but it is going to give this thing, I'm sure, a tough look. Because right now we're on some smaller coils. We do have 35, there's 35, 12, 50, uh, 24 inch wheels on this thing. I'm excited, it's, it just needs that little bit of altitude change, and I'm sure it's gonna get a whole new attitude when it's done. wrapped up for the front as far as we can get for this evening we need to locate our pitman arm puller so we can put our new pitman arm so uh, a little bit of differences in this kit compared to some of the other ones as you guys can see we've got our radius arm drop bracket here and they've kind of extended the design it's a little bit more showy uh, but essentially what this is doing is it's dropping our radius arm down to account for the spring height that we're going up so kind of just like the Carly kit we're dropping this arm down I believe it's like two or three inches to kind of get the correct geometry in the front the way the fourth gen axles are pitched really hard so we've got this nice bracket we've got the face plates on it you can kind of see what we were going after again PXR King here. Uh, we've got all the PXR. We've got the face plates on. And again, this is where it's all going to kind of tie into the wheels that we're going to keep on this truck. So 
you can see right here this is where the axle is like really really pitched hard on these trucks and you've got to get this geometry correct otherwise you're going to have your slinky mod going on and again the weight's not completely set down that's kind of what we're getting ready to do wanted to talk to you guys before we set it down so we've got our shock reservoirs on there we've got our clamps our springs our face plates brake lines back on we've got our uh, front drive shaft reconnected we've got our track bar drop bracket here um, we actually are utilizing an aftermarket Thurin track bar on this so you get a good solid track bar and we've got our drop bracket which again is going to keep geometry correct get this thing steering good we're ready to kind of set this thing back down on the ground and see how tall this four inch kit really is and then we're going to move to the rear oh yeah she's tooted she's tooted right now it's like the perfect height it's like a do-all height it's not too tall get that thing off my face show them show them the truck I love it. It is time to play a little catch up here. We have kind of sped ahead and completely done the rear. As you can see, we've got these rear face plates, which actually bolt right onto your factory arms. They're a little hard to see. Let's see, I think we have a light. There she is, there's the light. Now we'll be able to see. Now, we've got these powder coated the same color. We have yet to clean up the rest of the frame and stuff like that, but really nice touch because once we get the wheel on and the liner in here and you don't see a whole lot of the frame and stuff you're really going to be able to notice those basically face plates that bolt onto your factory arms just a nice way to kind of complete the rear because you've got a really nice look in the front and if you don't do anything with the back and the arms again they do make upgraded arms but depends on what you're going for so the nice thing about the guys at striker is they've got you covered from mild to wild this is a really nice addition just to kind of dress up the rear if you're not looking to get into the control arm so we've got our 2.0 reservoir shocks in the rear installed we've got our nice little billet holders here airbags because if you don't have airbags how can you even tow when you've got a truck that's prepped for a gooseneck ball in the back Got our striker billet uh, sway bar end links. We've got our sway bar installed. We've got our Banks div cover. We've got all of that nice tidied up. And we've got our, basically these, we took the OEM springs out, which you guys can see up in here. We've got our spare tire out for the time being. And we've got our striker spacers up on top of our factory coils. So the factory coils are nice because you've got all of the tow rating and that spacer that sits up top. It's actually keyed into uh, framework up on top. So they're actually locked in there. They're really nice. I was a little concerned. I'm like, do those things just float up in there? But they are actually locked in there. So we've got our spacer. Again, on these trucks, they come from the factory pretty pretty raked out so we're not actually lifting the rear a whole lot to make up for a four inch kit i believe we're only going up maybe an inch and a half maybe two inches tops in the back to make this thing sit completely level i am completely pumped on how this thing is sitting so wanted to show you guys that without the tire on we're going to put the tire on we're going to get this thing back down on the ground on at ride height and let me tell you what it is looking good so we're gonna move to the front and we're gonna completely wrap up the front. Front is pretty much done. We've gotta tighten up our radius arms now that we're back down on the ground and the weight is on the truck. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And we've got to swap our pitman arm. So we've got our factory pitman arm pulled. You can see the difference in the two. Little bit more of a drop. Again, suspension geometry, drivability, all taken into account, which is really nice. A lift is cool, but if it drives like crap, we don't want it. So that'll take care of that. We'll go ahead and put our drag link back in and our sway bar, which we powder coated over there, can then go on. Again, we've got matching billet uh, sway bar end links here, which will just pair nicely. Again, everything powder coated that PXR, when the light hits it, the light hits it, it really, really does it wonders. Not even cleaned up yet, but 
that's where we're at. Just a little update. We are gonna be wrapping this bad boy up tonight. It is getting late. It's got a detail appointment with our man Clay G here in the morning. So we're gonna, we're gonna burn it down tonight. We're gonna get this thing done. And man, oh man, am I pumped to see this thing on the road. I know you guys are too. So let's get back to work. We'll slap that stuff back on here and we will have a running and driving truck again by tonight. Well, she's dropped off at our man Clay G's Elite Detailing. If you thought it looked good before, wait till you see it after he's done. A little first look outside of the shop. Backing up a little bit so you guys can get a little bit of perspective. I doubt my camera's gonna do it any justice, but it is looking right. It is looking absolutely right. In the shop, in our shop, I'm always a little worried about front to back, but now that I see it outside of the shop, it's sitting absolutely perfect. Four inch in the front, whatever spacer they had in the back, absolutely nails the look. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's when the back is just too low and it's sitting absolutely perfect. <clears throat> nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. If you guys look, it's so hard to see detail on my camera, but you can just see the detail of those lower arms. Look on the front. Everything just goes together super well on this truck. Super happy. But my battery is about to die, and that is about the last time you are going to see this truck until we do like a final unveil with Dawson. We'll get this thing on the road. We'll get some rollers. Be looking out. H-A-W-T. Well, there she is. And obviously you guys can tell seeing that this video is a little bit behind. We have the truck back from our man Clay G. And let me tell you what, in the shop, I don't know if it's gonna do it any justice. And we've been driving it around, but the paint on this thing, full paint correction, full ceramic coating, full under chassis cleaning. Obviously the frame was not cleaned up before. It is looking Perfect now, we have got every single little detail on the truck buttoned up, dialed. It is perfect top to bottom. I say it every time, but it's honestly my goal every single time to outdo ourselves every single time. So I would say, in my opinion, this is not only the nicest, the coolest truck that we have ever given away. You don't find six speeds with this low of miles anymore, especially fully built top to bottom looking absolutely perfect sounding absolutely perfect man i'm just it's it's a 10 out of 10 build for me guys but anyway you guys have a chance to win this sucker i'm not sure what you're waiting on go get entered go win this bad boy plus the trailer plus 10 g's and the keys we will see you guys in the next video coming up very very soon but make sure you go to wrenchworks because this this could be your new this could be your new seat right here you could be driving this bad boy home in a couple short weeks. You can't do that if you don't get entered.